Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the section of artificial intelligence and machine learning in welding. I'm Yang Du, come from the Pennsylvania State University. It's my pleasure to have this chance to introduce my work here today. The topic today is avoiding tool failure and defects in friction steel welding using machine learning. As we know, friction steel welding is a solid state joining process that uses a non consumable tool to join two pieces work plates together without melting the alloys. The material is heated up to their thermal plastic state to flow around the tool. Here are two most important problems in friction steel welding. The first one is tool failure and the second is void defect. As we can see here, if the tool is broken here, then there is no weird nugget. Otherwise, we can see some kind of nuggets here, whether it's good or not. And for void defect, we can see it depends on the process parameters, and it can be big void or small void or even no voids. So that is highly depending on the process. Here we show how to combine the experimental result, mechanistic model and machine learning to avoid portfolio and void infraction steel welding. Here is our roadmap. We start with the process parameters alloy properties which are available in the literature and easy to connect. The first try is using this process parameters and material properties to fit with neural network directly to predict the tool failure and void. However, the predict accuracy is average. Therefore, we employ this numerical model to calculate six complicated calculated variables Temperatures generate, flow stress, shear stress on tool pin, travels force, and tool torque. And then we fit them with neural network and design tree to predict the tool failure and void formation. We found that use method two and three, use machine learning can help us predict and reduce tool failure and void defects with very great prediction accuracy. The code engine of this work is the numerical model of friction steel welding. It combines the work pieces, material, and dimensions thermophysical properties of work pieces and tool material, and also the welding process parameters. And also it is generated based on the conservation equations of mass, momentum, and energy in 3D. Some submodels of heat transfer, heat generation rate, and viscosity are all involved in this model. Within 10 minutes, we can obtain the heat generation rate, temperature and velocity fields, cooling rate at all locations, flow stress generate, viscosity field, and also the stress and torque on the tool. Here is an animation that shows us how the material flow around the tool pin. So we can see that the tool pin moves from the right to the left side. At the back of the tool pin, there is some region that very less material can feel around. So that's the place where it's most likely for the void to form there. This numerical model has been very well validated by experimental results. As we can see here, the temperature time curves, both of them show almost the same trend. The cross section of the welding joint also show us very good agreement with each other. 
In addition, this model has also been very well validated by some other experiment results like the tour talk for two different materials and for various welding conditions. With the help of the numerical model, we can figure out the material flow and heat transfer inside of the process. And then we can calculate six costly variables, temperatures, generate, travels force, flow stress, shear stress, and torque. Temperature as we know it indicates the heat generation and the softness of the material. Stress rate is calculated by the velocity gradient and it shows us how continuously the material is flow inside. Flow stress is show us how difficult it is for the material to flow around. The travel force shear stress and torque that all for the tool pane. It indicates the force stress and how hard it is for the tool pin to move around and the torque that tool pin need to provide to stir the material flow around. Here we connect 114 sets of experiment data for both safe tool and broken tool cases. In for six cost variables that we mentioned above, we plot, we calculated and plotted as shown here. It's obvious there is something like ratio value that can be used to separate all the data into two cases for safe tool and broken tool cases. For machine learning, there are two algorithms that we used. The first one is neural network. We use architangent function as the active function. The learning rate hidden layers and hidden nodes for each hidden layer need to be adjusted based on the data sets. The second algorithm is design tree. As we can see here, the basic structure for design tree is xi greater than p. If yes, then go left. If not, then we go right. So, how to select the variable xi? We have six costly variables, right? So, we choose the variable that has the highest information gain as the xi variable. And the variable p is based on the ratio value selection. The ratio value that has the minimum classified error should be selected as the best ratio value p. The generalization ability of neural network is represented by ROC and AUC value. We can see that if the AUC value is high, then the model generalization ability is better, and the ROC curve will get closer to the top left point here. The random selection with accuracy of 50% is marked here with the red dot line. First, we feed in the neural network with the process parameters and the material pro properties. We can see that the AUC value is there 0.97. When we fit in the neural network with the six positive variables, the AUC value is getting improved to 0 0.99. Another very important question is, among the six calculated variables, which one has the most importance on portfolio? So we use three different feature selection indexes information gain, information gain ratio, and Gini number to figure out the hierarchical importance of the six calculated variables. And then we find that all the three feature selection indexes show us the same result. The maximum share stress is recognized as the most important variable among the six. And the second important variable is the flow stress. 
Based on the hierarchical importance of the six variables on tool failure, we can generate a design tree to predict the tool safe or tool broken visually. And we find that the first important variable, maximum shear stress, is selected as the root node in design tree here. The second important variable, flow stress, is selected as the second layer classification node here. And the design tree can predict to a failure with accuracy of 98%. Among six calculated variables, we choose four of them to generate another tree to predict void defects. And we find that the temperature, the most important variable, is selected as the root node in the design tree. The second important variable, maximum shear stress, is selected as the second layer classification node here in the design tree. The design tree can predict the void formation here with accuracy of 96%. In machine learning, confusion matrix is a good way to show the performance of the machine learning algorithms. It compares the result of our prediction and target to show how the algorithm's performance if they agree with each other, both zero or both one, it means it can predict correctly. Otherwise, it means it cannot predict correctly. If we use wedding process parameters and material properties with neural network to predict the 12 failure, the accuracy is 87%. But if we use the six calculated variables with neural network, we can predict the tool failure with 96% accuracy, very much improved. And then if we use the design tree that we generated based on the importance of the six cost variables, and then we predict the tool failure, the prediction accuracy is 98%. Similarly, for void defect prediction, the confusion matrix result is shown here. We can see that similar results. If we use welding process parameters and material properties with machine learning, it can predict the void defects with 83% accuracy. And if we use the calculated variables with your network or design tree, both of them can predict the void defect with 96% accuracy. Here is our conclusion. So, we can use machine learning mechanistic models and experimental results to predict and reduce to a failure and void defects in friction steel welding. Six very important cognitive variables that we can calculate it directly is the mechanistic model. For tool failure, the maximum shear stress and flow stress were selected as the most two important variables. But for void defects, temperature and maximum shear stress are selected as the most two important variables. And the calculated variables show better performance in predicting the tool failure and voids. The best prediction accuracy for tool failure and void formation are 98% and 96%. Thanks for your listening. Have a good day.